Righto, so Merck Scone, and I'm from Corra in the Southern Riverina uh, of New South Wales, Australia. So Gen Angus is a program that has been developed for, for future leaders. It's a small group of young people that have to apply and be selected to, to attend. And it's a really tailored program to develop leaders for the future, to assist people uh, on that finer point, bringing all of the knowledge and all of the, I suppose, all of the process and all of the you know, opportunities and challenges together to understand how we can adapt that for our businesses and also to become better leaders and better people ultimately into the future. I suppose I was fortunate enough to, um, to have some input in the early days of, of Gen Angus when it originally started. And I always said to myself that one day I, I would go back and attend. I, there were so many things there that I feel that I needed to learn and to get some help with. And so for me, this year was there's been a pivotal, a pivotal change in our business. So it was kind of now or never. I felt um, from what I understood the, the program had developed into over time that it was going to really assist me now taking the next steps, not only in our business, but certainly throughout our local community and broader Angus community. So it was, it was sort of a no-brainer. Apply now and I felt I'd get the most out of it. Probably some, some really home truths for me with Angus Street that I connected with. Um, and some stuff that I've been kicking down the road for far too long that I know I need to adapt and change and build with. So, you know, that was a big one. I think market insights and actually understanding to reach out um, and gather this information really precisely before we're making big decisions. They're probably two of the things that I sort of got a lot out of, um, along with um, just bringing, you know, breeding decisions back to basics, you know, putting some putting some maths around your breeding decisions. We use data and we use, we use all the tools to make these decisions, but I'll sit down and do a budget. Maybe I could do things a bit better um, when it comes to, you know, be more precise with that. Day two, I think the biggest one was budgeting. It's something like I love numbers, but I also love being outside, but probably just honing in and being able to identify where we should direct our energy when it comes to budgeting. So I got a lot out of that and, and closing out with Sir Graham yesterday, Ted, I think he brought the, the group really together and just really emphasised how lucky we are. Like I, the take home there for me was, we are lucky, let's just not waste it. You know, like this year, I think there was 40 people that applied and all I can say to the people that, that weren't selected, apply next year, don't be discouraged get some feedback and, and go again. You know, that, that's what it's about. Providing opportunities like this, you know, it's not a course that can be funded for 50 or 100 people. So there is always going to be limitations, but really do not be discouraged if you haven't got through and make sure you apply again, because yeah, the opportunity is massive.